my name is June Chapman. I am back with Mark and Eddie from A10 talking about higher education and what A10 offer. This section is talking about the trends. So what trends are you seeing when talking to customers, Mark and Eddie? So at the moment, obviously, it's impossible to have any call without talking about coronavirus. Yeah. There's, there's obviously a huge amount of uncertainty at the moment um, around the impact of coronavirus. And our um, HE customers have, have seen the effects in a variety of ways. Um, I think the most striking one is the fact that um, the way that their, their enrolment, their, in, their students um, mm. are consuming uh, learning and, and content and resource um, has changed and has changed very quickly. Yes. So, we see a lot of um, physical um, classroom sessions and, and lessons have now moved to virtual. Um, and also content that would have been handed out before, um, you know, or content that would have been um, you know, got physically in, in a library now has to move online as well. Um, and, you know, IT organisations within HE are having to make changes very quickly um, in order to, to keep up with, with what the enrolment needs. I think on top of that as well, there's, um, you know, there's still a lot that is up for grabs in the future as well. So um, hi higher education need to differentiate um, in order to, in, to win um, enrolment and, and to bring on new students. And so there's a lot of talk around things like connected campuses, um, mm -hmm. our classrooms and, you know, additional services and incremental services that can be added to improve the student experience. Yeah. I think, you know, you need to be mindful of, um, you know, what you do now and what you implement now will need to be able to, to flex and to, to meet that demand in the future and to meet those changes. Um, on top of that, uh, 5G has been in the news a lot recently. Uh, we're starting to see, um, see rollout across the country. Mm -hmm. and, um, we've been talking to higher education about how that might change things as we move forward. So, um, you know, it's likely in the future we'll have a, an incredibly fast and broad internet connection that comes through the sky. So is that going to change the way that we deploy our networks? You know, will we need a, a, an internet pipe into a, into a data center? Or will we be connecting devices through 5G? Um, and, you know, what security and performance issues does, does that bring up as well? Mm -hmm. The kind of overarching message with this and, and what we're seeing is that customers have a, a real need to be flexible. Um, you know, plans may change tomorrow, whether that's for something like a pandemic in the shorter term um, or for value add services that they want to offer students in the longer term. And, um, and basically not to limit what they do tomorrow by what they buy today. Great. So Thanks, what are the collective risks to higher education if they don't actually properly prepare for these potential outcomes? Because obviously multiple things can happen at one time, which makes their life quite difficult. So um, what, what do you think that they would be facing? So there's, I think there's a, a couple of ways to look at it. So one is, is financial. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you're forced into change, um, you know, especially by things like a, a pandemic or an, an unplanned um, effect on your on your workloads and the way students consume content, um, you know, you're going to have to move very quickly. Um, you might need to buy a new kit for that, and there's a, a financial premium um, that comes along with it. That's, yeah, that's there, yeah. um, I think the other thing as well is, um, you know, if you're not properly prepped to be flexible and to change in the future, um, it's going to affect your ability to offer services to your enrolment, um, which, you know, that helps you create your competitive advantage. And the risk there is that you might not be able to bring on the, um, the enrolment and the number of students that you had hoped for. Um, and, you know, it, it basically leaves you vulnerable um, to universities that, that have planned for these changes and you know have a have a good plan for um value add services they want to offer in the future yeah i definitely work with universities that actually record all of their lessons before the pandemic and then they're made uh, they're made available to students and obviously the universities that didn't have that set up have obviously had to kind of 
get their, their, their lecturers to obviously stream these things. Um, I think it's been quite difficult because the requirement definitely came so fast. Um, with the financial side of things, I know Axions, um, along with a couple of other our partners, have, have been offering financing options because on some occasion, um, you know, universities don't have the biggest budget and where COVID's hit, some of their revenue streams have also been hit quite badly. Um, so you think that you guys offer kind of in in that ballpark that would help universities get on their feet if needed, if they're in a position where, you know, the revenue stream is not there um, and they can't afford it outright. Obviously, Axions can as a partner. So um, I guess we'd do that on your on your behalf if if your technology was was kind of required to help solve a problem. Yeah. And, you know, and solutions are all about solving solving problems and, and doing it quickly um, and uh, you know effectively um, and because of that you know we've we've got a, a lot of products that are made available as software or, or virtual appliances um, and that lets us do things quickly there's no shipping times or, or anything like that um, but also licensed models and commercial models that allow you to to flex up and down again very quickly that means you can make these changes whether they're they're planned or not Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I could definitely see that helping. Being able to scale up and scale down in such a short period of time is going to be a huge benefit to a lot of customers that we work with. Well, thank you very much. Um, this is the end of our second video. In the next, uh, we will be talking about how your products help higher education, uh, meeting the, the needs and demands made of them uh, in today's climate. Thanks very much, guys.